Business owners tell CBS 12 News it's to the point where employees who work downtown are uncomfortable leaving work. Our Denise Sawyer now with the possible solutions on the table. In Okeechobee, there is not a local homeless shelter. The nearest one is an hour away, which is now posing a problem. There's the concern that's raising eyebrows in downtown Okeechobee. Inappropriate uh, uh, activities, uh, if you will. An increasing number of half-naked homeless people have taken over this public park. That's according to Okeechobee city leaders. Threatening a couple of the ladies after hours trying to leave work. Safety is a concern. It's just been more prominent. It's, it's on our radar. During the day, the park looks like this with one or two homeless guys roaming around. But at night, they say it's a different story. They've you know, been a little bit more brazen. We've had a lot more issues panhandling, and it gets a little more out of control where it becomes the issue. An issue that business owner Michael Mamorelli has seen worsen over the past few weeks. They were lying on the picnic tables and, and, and not being as presentable as possible. He owns Joey's Pizza right across the street from the park became an uncomfortable situation. So city leaders and the police department have stepped in. We're going to try to be as creative as possible. We're even looking at uh, options for a homeless shelter. We're trying to do all we can, and that's, that's difficult. And without a homeless shelter within an hour drive of Okeechobee, city councilman Bobby Keefe agrees something needs to be done. Homeless folks certainly needs our attention. You know, they're, they're human beings that deserve um, the government's um, support and the locals' um, empathy as well. Council members tell me they will discuss possible solutions such as a local homeless shelter and or changing the hours of operation at this park at next week's meeting. In Okeechobee, I'm Denise Sawyer for CBS 12 News.